Tens of millions of Americans are expected to travel on Memorial Day weekend and the surge of travelers is expected to break records. Ivan Rodriguez reports on how airlines are preparing and what travelers can expect when they hit the road. Memorial Day weekend is considered the unofficial start to summer and with it the start of a busy travel season. This coming weekend we're expecting to see levels we haven't seen since before the pandemic. FAA is projecting more than 51,000 flights on Thursday alone. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says even though this weekend will be a test of the system, he's confident airlines will be prepared. He said the department is collaborating with airlines to reduce congestion and when things go wrong, pressure them to improve customer service. Cancellation and delay rates were at unacceptable proportions last year, and it's important that that not happen again. More than 42 million Americans are expected to travel 50 miles or more from home over the holiday weekend, a 7% increase over 2022, according to AAA. United Airlines CEO Scott Kirby says the industry as a whole has done a good job to prepare for this summer. And at United, you know, we have 10% more employees per, per block hour than we had uh, pre-pandemic. Secretary Buttigieg said earlier this month, in terms of air traffic controllers, the government is still about 3,000 short, but are planning to hire 1,500 this year. For Scott Kirby, that remains one of the greatest concerns. What we really need is the FAA reauthorization bill to authorize more funds. It's not their fault, by the way. It's a 20-year problem. While most travelers will be driving to their destinations, car travel is still expected to be down slightly from pre-pandemic levels, with gas prices higher than 2019 levels, but still lower than this time last year. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting.